I want to let you know that if you are doing makeup and if you're following my tutorial, if you stumble on my tutorial, know that it is edited. Know that I am having a hard time. When I'm doing the liner, they don't always come out the same. Or when I'm putting my lash on, maybe it gets stuck to my eyelid the wrong way and I have to rip it off. Or maybe one eye came correct and then I wipe off the other eye and I do it all over again. And that's not something that you guys see. So I want to let you know that makeup takes practice and makeup is fun, but as long as you keep trying and you feel beautiful, that's all that matters. So th okay, thank you. Hey guys, the uh, girl, think before you start. So to begin, I'm gonna take my P. Louise base in shade number two and my Morphe brush in M166. And I'm just gonna take a little bit on the brush. And then I have a pea size amount. And the instructions say to usually take a flat shader brush and a large amount and just to pat it out all over the lid in a patting motion. The P. Louise base is still out for the jury for me just because I feel like it dries or it gets creasy. I'm not sure if you're supposed to work one eye at a time with this base, but it does dry a little quickly. Like in the beginning when I got this eye base, I felt like it worked wonders, but lately it's been really drying on me and I feel like it crusts up. It also can be my skin just being just drier just because of the winter. So I don't want to base that on P. Louise just yet. So I'm going in with the M433 brush and I have Necessary on the brush. And I'm just going to tuck this into my eye socket area and blend back and forth. I do want to create an oval shape that follows the socket. So I'm just going to keep blending in that motion. Towards the outside, I am flicking it out and I'm not rounding it. So I actually think I'm going to take this shade all over the lid. I'm sorry, I'm thinking as I'm doing this. So I'm actually just taking that one color necessary on my M433 brush. And I'm just going all over the lid. I was working it through the socket and then what was left on the brush, I just went all over the lid. So I'm just going from outlining my socket and then swiping outward and then bringing the rest of the shadow down. So I'm dipping into the shade Churro with my M456 brush and I'm just going to take that into the crease. So again, following the socket, but this time just focusing solely in the socket area. So we want to make sure that this color doesn't move from the crease area, so we're going to go back and forth in windshield wiper motions. So again, with this shadow, we're focusing it solely in the crease area, windshield wiper motions, and flicking out once we get to the end. The M506 brush having no shadow is allowing us to blend out the harsh lines that were created, just so that way there's a seamless blend. Next, I'm going to go in with this Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner, and I'm just going to draw a wing. Okay, so we have one wing on. Just gonna go in with the Lancome Monsieur Big. I'm gonna take this small Makeup Forever Aqua XL eye pencil and I'm just gonna tight line. Oh, this feels awkward as hell. So what I just did was tight line and tight lining is just making sure that in between your lashes and your eye you cannot see the band. So I have both eyelashes on and I have to say that between the liner and the eyelashes it's been a bitch. Like it's been a bee and it's okay because I feel like it's worth it. My eyes look so pretty and done up with the eyeliner and the eyelashes and it just gives me a more dolled up effect. So what I'm going to do now, finally getting into it, is I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primerizer. And I love this, especially for the winter because my skin is very dry right now. 
So I put two pumps in my hand, just mix it together, and then just start tapping it into the skin. And this is so good just because it hydrates the skin. So my skin has a glow to it with this and it also is hydrated. So now that I have the Smashbox primerizer on, I do want to add a little bit of glow to the skin. I'm going to be going in with the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops, and I'm going to be going in with this Morphe brush. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a number, but I think it's like a concealer brush, and it does have a white base, and in silver is written Morphe. I just place a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I go in with this Morphe brush, and I just going to take it and then I dab to the high points of my face where I would naturally highlight but I do this first as a highlighting base so again I'm just going to add more and what I have learned with this product is that it does dry up pretty quickly when working with it because it usually would just dot all over and then buff it in, but it does dry up. Does Cupid's bow. A little bit on the chin. So I have a bit left, and what you can do is highlight your shoulders. And this is really cute. This is actually what I got it for originally. I saw a lot of beauty bloggers putting this all over their skin and it looks so amazing in photos. So I'm going to get the last of it and I will place it here on my collarbones. So we are glowy. So I love that we're glowy right now and we don't even have foundation like this alone. I never like my face without any foundation or anything else, but I do feel pretty. I do have my wet Morphe sponge. I'm just going to go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and spray it up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this combination of Milani number no. 7. I put a bump of it on my hand in the back. I'm actually going to go in one with one more pump. So I went in with two pumps of Milani in shade number seven. And then I'm going to go in with the Infallible Pro Glow in shade 205. And I'm just going to mix them together. I say Pro Glow is more liquidy and less coverage as where Milani is a thicker formula with lots of coverage. So, and I want to say Milani is more of a matte satin finish. So I have this mixture, I'm just going to place it on my skin. And then I'm going to take the Beauty Blender and I'm just going to go in pouncing it in. So next I'm going to take a Morphe M166 brush and I'm going to take my Becca Concealer in shade Brulee. And I'm just going to dip in it just a bit. And I'm gonna swipe some concealer on my eye. So I'm not buffing it out with this brush necessarily. I'm just going in to lay the concealer down. Now that I've painted concealer on, I'm just gonna go in and buff it out. What's your favorite part of makeup, by the way? Do you enjoy putting on your eye makeup first or do you love doing it after you have a full face? I find, well, I don't want to say that I've tried so many times to say that I don't like it, but I do prefer doing eye makeup before my base so nothing falls on top of my base. I know you can put translucent powder, but with my experience, you can't really fix the mistakes. The other places that I do blend would be a bit on the forehead right here. And I'm just going to spread that. And I am going to take this, but I'm going to take the tip of the bristles and go down my nose.
and take it on, keep it for a little bit. Take it underneath the chin here. I do take it on the sides of my mouth just so that like no darkness is there. Next, what I want to do before I continue to go on is to do my bottom lash line. So for the bottom lash line, I'm going to carry on and I'm going to go with the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil. And this is in the shade 6Y04. So I'm just going to say whatever black that they do carry. And I'm going to place this in my waterline. So I took that shade Churro and I'm just going to buff out the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with the Monsieur Big from Lancome and I'm going to go in for the bottom lashes. So what are some good shows that you guys are watching right now that you would recommend? Like I just finished the series You on Netflix. And to me, it was so good. It was so creepy, weird good. So the show has Penn Badgley, who played in Gossip Girl as Dan Humphreys. And it also has Shay Mitchell from Pretty Little Liars. And I didn't really watch Pretty Little Liars, but I am a big fan of Gossip Girl. So seeing Penn Badgley being like this psycho, weird, creepy guy trying to get this girl's attention anyway and stalking her life, I didn't like it at first just because I'm like, Dan Humphreys, this is really weird, what are you doing? I don't know how to feel about this, does Serena know? How about Blair? And I mean, as the episodes went on, it's just so intriguing and you want to know what's going to happen next. And I honestly fell in love with the show and before I even finished it, I found out that they were renewed for a season two, which is really exciting. Because I feel like in the beginning it may drag on just a bit, but episodes like 7, 8, 9, 10 are really intense and want, and you're just going to want to keep going. And to sculpt out my cheeks today, I'm going to be using this Hourglass Veil Powder. So I'm just going to take off the top. And I'm going to turn the Beauty Blender around and I'm just going to press it in. So then I have some here, I'm just going to press it into my hand so it doesn't go on so patchy and then place it here and draw down. So I'm giving myself a little translucent powder beard. So what this powdering is going to do is just give us definition to our cheekbone. So I'm just going to leave this to marinate for now. And what this is going to do is just make sure that we have sharp definition. And with the Hourglass Veil Powder, I do want to make sure that if you are getting this for baking, you know that it is going to be shiny per se. Like it gives a luminosity that all Hourglass products do. So when I do place it under my eye, it leaves a shine that I'm not here for. My camera died and while being off camera I did contour my nose and I did do so with the Give Me Sun MAC bronzer. But now that my nose is contoured I'm going to be taking this M533 brush from Morphe and just dusting away the Santa Claus beard. It has been on for a while so it might take a little bit to dust off. So I feel like the powder did take away some of the dewiness and my face does look a little bit of matte on the bottom, but that is okay because we will add dewy spray or hydration back into it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be going into my Wet n Wild blush and this is Apricot in the Metal. I'll be going in with my VIB Rouge brush and I'm just going to dust a little on there. So I do have blush on, but I've been doing with my blush. This has a bit of, of sheen on it, so I don't think it would look as natural, but I do take it across the bridge of my nose a little, so I have that sun-kissed effect. Not going to put too much. I do follow it on the top of my forehead and a little bit on the chin, a little bit dusted on the nose. So. 
Now we have our blush on and the blush is just for a kiss. It's just for a hint of color. I didn't want to do anything too crazy and this is very muted. So I can go in with a little more and tap it on there. What I'm going to do next is go in with the shade Champagne Pop from Becca x Jaclyn Hill. And I'm going on with my setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to dab a bit of it. And then I'm just going to take this on the high points of my cheek. So when I say high point of my cheek in placement, I'm talking about the high point of my cheek. So I want my cheek area still. But I'm just brushing it along here. I don't want to go too high up here because that takes away from the concealer that I've just put down for underneath my eye. So I do stay on the cheekbone area, just the high points of my cheek. It's my favorite place to apply highlighter is in between the eyes on the bridge of the nose. So normally I would do a nude lip with this look, but it was my intention to put a red lip on. So for today's red lip, I'll be using Kat Von D's lip, and this is in the shade Outlaw. So I'm just going to be taking this on the Morphe 213 brush just so I can get a nice outline since I'm not using a lip liner. And then we'll go in with the applicator and we'll shade in our lips. For our last step, I'm going to be going in with the MAC Fix Plus in pink light. So just shake it up a bit, spray. So this is the finished look. It was trying to get this look, don't get me wrong. It does look simple, it's beautiful, it's sleek. I love it. I have to say that I love the wing liner and the red lip. It just makes the look look so bold. And the eyelashes, I hate putting on eyelashes, but it does complete the look, I have to say. And I also like these Queen Bee lashes because I find that Lily lashes are voluminous and so nice, but when I am blinking, it's tickling my eyebrow and it gets kind of frustrating for me, but they do look beautiful. But again, I'm rambling on. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up.